when we look at carbon, carbon is a very essential element and it comes in the form of carbon dioxide. So we have to look at carbon and the carbon cycle. This shows us the pools of carbon in the environment and where things go. This is from the NASA.gov, and basically there are pools of carbon in the environment. You've got a fossil pool, which amounts to 10,000 gigatons of carbon. We've got the soil, which is about 2,300 gigatons of carbon. We've got reactive sediments, which are about 6,000 gigatons of carbon. And we have got the deep ocean, which is about 37,000 gigatons of carbon. We also have the atmosphere, which is about 800 gigatons of carbon. So where plants get their carbon from is they fix it in the form of photosynthesis, which means they pull it in out of the atmosphere. The yellow in here are natural flux numbers. The red are human contributions. So what happens is over here in photosynthesis, we get 120 natural gigatons coming in, plus the three that come out of human contributions. We have respiration going up into the air, which releases 60, and that gives us plant biomass, which again is another large pool, which it says is about 550. We get a net terrestrial uptake of about three, which is material going into the soil. It is leaf material and other material that is placed down as a organism eats the leaves. They pass it out in the defecation phase, and that can add to carbon uptake. We have on the same token microbial respiration and decomposition, which releases 60 tons back out. So you can see that the plant part brings in 120 tons. The respiration, the microbial respiration, releases 120 tons. We have an additional three coming out of human, which somewhere in here gets mixed up and gives us a net uptake in the soil. And one thing humans often do is they like to increase organic matter in the soil because it makes for a richer soil. If you look at the ocean part, it says phytoplankton and photosynthesis amount for 90 gigatons coming in. You get respiration and decomposition, which release off another 90. So you get about the same amount coming in as you get going out. And basically what happens is you have a net two in here for human activity, which gives you a net uptake of about two. And the surface of the ocean apparently has a rather massive amount of biomass in the form of plankton, which are responsible for a pool of about a thousand gigatons. In the center, we have fossil fuel cement land use change, which says it contributes nine gigatons of the atmosphere. And since you've got nine going out and you've got Five from humans coming in, that gives you a net carbon increase of four gigatons a year. So when we look at carbon and the carbon cycle, we can see that we get flows, whether it's through a terrestrial environment, whether it's through a oceanic environment, we've got some absolutely massive pools of material, but we do get fluxes on an annual basis. So as we look at this, this becomes a very interesting part because this is where the carbon that goes into photosynthesis comes from.